Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, with a broken and contrite heart, today I have published the names of all clergy and religious who since the beginning of the Diocese of Tulsa and Eastern Oklahoma in 1973 have been credibly accused of sexual abuse against a minor. Though this might be a difficult path, I believe that this is the best path to bring healing and to restore trust. On behalf of the church in Eastern Oklahoma, I apologize to all victims and their families it is difficult to express the sorrow and shame I feel that some of our children were hurt by those who claimed to have stood for the love and grace of Jesus Christ and by we who are leaders who fail to protect them. To the courageous and the resilient survivors of child sexual abuse, I applaud your bravery and want you to know the Catholics in Eastern Oklahoma support you on your path to healing and justice. To the laity, I want to apologize for any derision you have endured due to the egregious sins of others. In such times when the institutional church falters, the personal holiness of the laity can be a great light in the darkness. To all those who have kept their faith and encouraged their loved ones to do so as well, I am in your debt. I also have on my heart those who do not know Christ and his church and for whom these scandals have served as an impediment in coming to know him. Please know I pray for you and hope the love of God can shine through even such human failures. Lastly, to my brother priests and deacons, I reiterate my apology that the sins of others have cast a pall upon the sacred vocation to which you have pledged your lives. It is my deepest hope that this publication will be a substantial step toward the healing of the survivors, their families, and for the church. I am fully committed to doing everything within my power to protect our children. Today, the diocese trains each priest, deacon, seminarian, diaconate candidate, lay employee, and volunteer to recognize the signs of sexual abuse and how to immediately report suspected abuse to local authorities. We seek to employ the best practices in child and youth protection and routinely submit to reviews by independent auditors to ensure complete compliance. I also reiterate my pledge to follow a strict policy of zero tolerance. I can reassure you that no priest or deacon currently exercising public ministry in the diocese has had a credible allegation of sexual misconduct with a minor made against him. Moving forward, if there is a new allegation against a priest or deacon, you have my word that we will cooperate with civil authorities, follow our policies, and if determined to be a credible allegation, will add their name to this report. I offer this report in a spirit of transparency and contrition. Please join me in praying for the victims, their families, and the church as we work toward eliminating this scourge upon the church. Jesus Christ has won the victory over sin, and as we call on him, he will save us from this dark hour. <laughs>